Welcome to West of Loathing! I'm your host, and as always, Wampa on West. Or Wampa on Roids? Eh, it doesn't matter. So we're going to be continuing our plight. Hmm, where was I last time? Oh yeah. Hmm. I was doing a bunch of stuff. Let's go over here to Gustav's and Gulch and lower my volume a little bit. Dynamite Dance Discount Dynamite Dare House. Go there now. Let's check out what Dynamite Dan has. Dynamite Dan has a year supply of dynamite for 5,000 bucks. Alright. Is there anything else? Okay, that's it. Um, where was I going? Hmm. Let's go to the professor's house. Um, a nearby hissing sound alerts you to the presence of a snake, or at least something that sounds like a snake, which turns out to be a goblin cooking flapjacks on a flat and baking hot rock. The grayish batter sizzles as the goblin pours out some more, and then they look up and give you a surprise look. Hey, what? What a human? Hey. What to doing out here, you? You to thieving fat flapjacks, maybe? Nope. Talk to him. Be calm. I will not jack your flaps. Did I say that wrong? I will not flap your jock jams to flapping. Please, what you wanting? Distract him, pick his pockets. To waiting and looking behind. Many snakes to approaching. Unheard for flapjacks are sizzling snakes. These are a delicious ingredient, but I am not seeing snakes. Never to minding a mistake, perhaps a stick. Goodbye, I to leaving. 20 meat and 11 XP. Delightful. And I got to the professor's house. Ooh, let's take this uh, hot coffee from the coffee cactus. Flush the X, flush that. Ooh, check out myself on the thing. Er, excuse me, my name's Swamp on West. What? Oh, uh, I didn't notice you come in. I'm not used to visitors, but folks you generally call me the professor. Is there something I can do for you? Well, I found this beeping gizmo, and it sort of uh, followed the beeping, and it led me here. Well, I'll be... Led you to the right place, young man. This is El Vibrato technology. Put one of these El Vibratos into your bum, and you'll... <laughs> And I happen to be much an expert as any uh, uh, one alive today. Oh, uh, what now? El vibrato, don't you know Spanish? It stands for the vibrato. <laughs> they were an ancient race that lived here long before humans. Well, they mostly lived underground, so people might still be living as far as I know, but never seen a peep of an actual person, though. Just the machines they left behind. Were they space aliens? They could be aliens, or genius prehumans, or an entirely different extraterrestrial evolutionary line. At this stage of investigation, it's impossible to say. Isn't it exciting? Here, let me take a closer look at your beeping gizmo. Give him the device. Aha, uh -huh, as I expected, it's a transponder. Detects el other El Vibrato technology and homes in, you see? That's why it led you here. I've been trying to repair. He tinkers around and with the transponder and then plugs a strange stone marble into the socket. There you go, good as new. Just swipe up or down to turn it on or off. Swipe. Now I gotta warn ya, this technology might lead you to an abandoned El Vibrato technology, but it might also attract unwanted attention. From what? From El Vibrato technology. You'll see what I mean, just be careful. Okay. You know, now that I get to think about it, you just arrived at the perfect time. I needed to get get to order anywhere from with my research. I need more scraps of Elven Brother tech, but searching for it eats up time. I could be using to research it. Aha, uh -huh, I get you. Right, you're the adventurous type. So bring me back some whatever devices, and if 
I can get them up and running, that will benefit both of us. Alright, deal. Great. First priority is my Keystone Fabricator running. Those, they lock doors and things and stone alley blocks, you see. So if we make our own, that will literally open a lot of doors for us, literally and figuratively. Alright, what do we need? The components aren't rare, at least as far as priceless ancient technology goes. Bring me, oh, about five handfuls of scrap. I should be able to salvage parts I need from that much. Professor. Twenty identical socks. Nice. Alright. So now we'll deal with all vibratos. Let's go to the old mission. Um, Destruct him and steal his gun. Quick, a lizard or a spider or something went up your pant leg. Oh no, my pants are so big and soft and quilted I didn't even notice. Exactly, do something fast. Stole his pistol. Nice. Harvest. Forge in two? For 285x. 200 XP, I don't know. Seems expensive. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what's wrong, sister? They came back. They just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Whoa, slow down, okay? What happened? Oh, holy racket, licks. The saints just stormed up out of the catacombs and took them back. Wow. I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The Cardinal will be here any minute. What am I supposed to do? Okay, start with a deep breath and what's your name? I'm Sister Mary. My name's Wampa. Now what's this about saints? Our missions, our uh, mission, is to protect the three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my specific job to look after them. Wait. Do they call you Memento Mu- She shows you a ruler? She keeps tucked under her sleeve. No, they do not. Okay, so what happened? The saints! Oh, it's so terrible. They just they just came to life somehow. All skeletal and ga ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say, but I nearly felt fainted. And they took back their relics? Yes, and if they aren't recovered before the cardinal gets back here, we'll all be in so much trouble. Uh-oh, how much time is there? Well, actually, he's months overdue, so it's probably not all that urgent, but still. Alright, I'll get him back for you. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. We're gonna have to fight them to get the rogues black. Because that's probably blasphemous too. Uh, I mean, probably. But if black magic brought him back to life, that's like super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh dear, Cardinal is gonna be... <laughs> we want a very long talk about this. But go ahead. And do what you must, I suppose. Okay. Later. Get those relics back. Good luck down there. Oh, are they all just downstairs? Look inside. It's empty. Curious. Get over. Yeah, let's fight him. What's the worst thing can happen, eh? Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna die. That's the worst that can happen. Oh, wow, uh, I'm screwed. Alright, well, I'm gonna take some... do some smelling salts, and I'm gonna shoot... like that. I'm gonna shoot like this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die. This turn. Oh wow. Okay, you get the idea, day three. Wow. Okay, the old mission needs to still be dealt with. Let's go to the old mill, learn, mill, 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 nerny. Alright, well I need to get Hornswoggle in three now. Give up, angry. Um, I just didn't want to deal with it. Uh, Hornswoggle in three. Click on the draw.
Deadeye is going to be, of course, got. Um, I have 130 XP, that's enough. Oops, I accidentally spent one on uh, Fan the Hammer. Oh well. Let's see here. Aw, oh, dick damn it. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go into this hat store. It's the law, ski daddle. Alright, everyone runs away. Okay. So many brims, so little time. Jacques. Alright, that's one. Hat two. Oh, this one moved. That's two. Let's use this. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. I found it. Alright, this one, you see this, like, you see these little, like, dents on a hat? His hat dent isn't as prominent. Got him. That's three. Four. Uh, oh, this one's asleep. He, I caught him snoring. Call him snoring, call him boring. How do I find this last guy? No, I don't want to use the map. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, let's apply one of these snake coal skins to my hat. Where's that? I don't know. What, what all do I have here? Jaw harp? I'm plucking my twanger. Hmm. How do I, uh... How do I figure this one out? Uh... My old domain home? Yellow rose? Well, let's turn off this and use it. Sure. I feel like one of these songs is going to lead me to the answer. Da 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 Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Bring me your hat. Got him. Love it. No, don't change that dial. Ah, I need another needle. Well, the good news is we can talk to the sheriff. Damn. I need so many gosh darn needles. Uh, Hornswoggle. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh, I think I finally got pants. No inventory. Oh, one armor. Um. Desert gang. Six to eight. Six to seven plus one moxie is better. Moxie armor. All right. Well, none of these other hats are is good. Cactus Bill. I didn't expect to see you around these parts. Well, I gotta admit, I got a little envious when I saw you leave Born Springs. I figure I'd hit, hit your ride out west. See what I could see. And just look at this place. So much hustle, so much bustle. There sure is a lot of both of those. Hey, nice spot. Thank you kindly. So what's new? Uh, well, to be honest, the profound sense of longing and loneliness. Sorry to hear that, Bill. Well, it is what it is, but I was hoping I'd run across a similarly lonely cactus lady somewhere out here. Or failing that, a normal looking lady who to marry a cactus, no luck. Not yet. Of course, getting around is a bit of a challenge, but us cactuses live a long time. I'm sure I'll meet somebody. Someday. I'll keep an eye out for you. Heck, I sure appreciate it. Bye, li bye, cactus. Hello. Just wanted to say hi. Oh. Desert and cells. Brave hat. Wait, I thought I dealt with the Potemkins. No, uh, the uh, Black Stripe Gang. No, I don't have any muscle. I need to add muscle. All right. Deal with them. Turn them in. That's my bad. I goofed. Just wanted to say hi. Empty cell. Cells all ghosty. Hmm. How about we go... The old mission is too strong for us. How about we go to... How about we ask... How about we ask our girl? The, the doc. What she thinks we should do. Alright. Talk to a partner. Uh, what do you think we should do next? Get TNT. It's me. Okay, any better ideas? Gustavson Gulch. Any better ideas? Potemkin game. Ask for another suggestion. Vibrato. Uh, Jewel Saloon. Um, catacombs. And that's all she can think of. Okay, well... Let's go to the, hmm, I don't know, uh, let's go to the Gustavsen Gulch, uh, attack it, attack the vibrato machine, alright, it has 45 and I'm going to do 20 damage, wow, Doc, you do not do any damage, um, No. Just keep shooting it. Wow, our doctor lady doesn't do anything. Wow, that's just not good. Hello. Hi, hello, being a mayor. Welcome. Now going away, please. Goblin seems friendly, but he blocks your entry into the tunnel. Can I not coming in? Sorry, only for goblins. Very private. Trick him into leaving. Hey, though, outside the gorge, I've been seeing a thing you liking a lot. Oh, what thing? What thing do you liking a lot? Mmm, pies. Well, there are pies all over there, Bing. This seems dubious, but neglect, but with neglectful being not to checking out. Takes a fork out of his pocket and leaves. Nice. Nothing interesting. Nope. Uh, go inside. Uh, let's see here. Listen at the door. It's quiet inside. The sh shack is filled with crude bookshelves, and the bookshelves in turn is filled with crude books. I was going to see uh, into a looking glass. This popular children's novel has been translated into Goblin, Jabberwocky, 
so it reads pretty much the same. Oh, it is brilliant. Being in toes, slitting, did in wabe, gyring, and also gimbal link. Perhaps more. So very complicated numbers. Let me tell this, this book that it concerns extremely high level mathematics. If you don't have the vo vocabulary to understand any of it, you would probably still wouldn't if it was written in English. Your brother would probably love it. Perhaps more. How to bird noises. This book is an extremely detailed treatise on the sounds that bird makes. You probably wouldn't expect to learn how to do an accurate Great Crested Graben's impression from a book, but that's how detailed it is. Alright, that's it. Check out the inside. Rats looks like it's locked. I need another needle. I need needles. Check. Um, check a random drawer. Keep looking. Check a random drawer. Check a randomer drawer. Goblin trashes. Alright. Four. Wait, can I even. Alright, well, there's nothing left in there now. Uh, they can just keep doing their thing. Check the bed. We have the desk. Read the important secrets. 69105. Dang it. Head backstage. Okay, so. You press your ear to the door and hear somebody delivering what sounds like lines from Hamlet, excepting Goblin Dog. Backstage entrance, here it is, here it being, with an arrow pointing to the back of the building. You sneak backstage and watch the play from the curtain. Not only is it the Goblin version of Hamlet, it is written to be a one-man show. To being or not to being? Oh, that is a question. Could it better thinking to suffering such crazy things and arrows? Or fighting so many bad things for stopping them because fighting, to dying, to sleeping, to sl sleeping. Hey, dreaming maybe, but oh, problems. If dreaming crazy when living, what dreams are having after dying? Well, pretty weird, probably. That was, watch uh, for a little while. The bits where the actor has to do sword fight with themselves are pretty entertaining. 22 XP. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna kill all these goblins. Yeah, just shoot this one. Shoot them all. Oh, that's bad. Um... Well, let's recover 10 HP. And then maybe... 10 more HP? And then just shoot this guy? Alright, so this guy with the gun... Isn't gonna do anything to us. Take good medicine, which will lower us down to 1 HP. And then just shoot this guy. Heal. Heal. Shoot. 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 Gustavus and Gulch treasure cave key. Meet Goblin Pistol. Leave the shack. Let's fight. Uh oh. Shoot. Shoot.
She can take two shots, that's all that matters. Yeah, I can take a one shot too, that doesn't matter. Heal Womp on West. Heal me again. Shoot him. Let's see here. Drink a good medicine. And shoot. Oh, I should have probably healed. It's okay, though. I'm rehealing more than they're doing damage. Shoot. Alright. Delightful. Just XP in that building. Let's fight him. No, oh, it's just this guy. One of these guys isn't that big a deal. Bang. Not even a big deal. There's literally nothing in these houses other than dead bodies. Let's see, a character. Let's get. Damn, I can't get the horn swag on three. Uh, let's get another level of good medicine. Let's get another. Hmm. Glamour? Grit. Moxie. Okay. And one big dead eye. Alright, well, next thing up will be Hornswog line, I guess. Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's take this. Look at the cactus beer. Unlock it. Head inside. Hello. Uh. Spoil the ending. Hey, Goblet. Good book. What thinking about how Goratio is the only one s surviving at the end? Everyone else dying, poisoning, sorting, pow blam. Uh, no, spoilers. Later. Try to minor bird calls. You duck behind the stalagmite and do a great crested grave in Impression. Oh, gasp. A great crested grave. Wow. I'll leave him be for now. Alright, well, I'm gonna kill you. I'm too busy to do anything else. Let's just murder. And shoot. Dead. Just straight up just killed my companion. Dead. Hooray. I need so many needles. A year supply of dynamite. Needles. Every time. I need needles. Alright, well, let's give the railroad company their dynamite. I'm not gonna actually do anything with them. Because that will only lead me into probably a tougher section of the game. Here you go. Sweet. Uh, why don't you have a longer detonator carryable? Nope. Don't worry, you'll be just fine. Give me a three count before you hit the plunger so I have time to get under the train. Great. Surveyors didn't say anything about a crazy rock monster. You're the protagonist. Do something about it. Uh, horn swaggle. You gotta get out of here. There's a huge flood coming down from the mountain pass. You'll be worn down to smooth pebbles. Don't worry about us. Save yourself. Monster runs away in pack panic. Nice. Well, now that's done. Uh, 
Thanks, but can't I just ride the thing? Got a ticket? Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Cause, of course you don't. Every seat on this train sold out. Sorry, boss. Later. Um, let's go over to the Fort Albit. Where hopefully, Doctor will get better. Hmm. Oh, hello. Holy goddamn. Yeah, this is a little intense. We have to do something about this immediately. Any ideas? Well, only one. Only way I can think of to get rid of all these things at w all at once would be to poison them somehow. That isn't very doctorly. Have you ever heard of a vaccination? Look, would you rather find the army of skeletons all at once, or find a way to slip something into food? Nice and quiet like. Hmm. Privy strategy. Well, let's just flush, flush. Oh, did I get sp sp wait skeleton what spore? Gross. Flush, flush. Giant map of the region. Open it. Needs a needs a needle. I got needles. No. <sighs> I don't want to give up my needles. I have so few of them. Taint it with waste. If this works, by tomorrow they should have no more. Alright, well, examine it, examine it, examine it, examine it, examine it, examine it, examine it. Hmm, okay. Let's pick this first lock. Nothing. Alright, well, I'm leaving. I'm going back to Gustav's and Gulch. No, wait. Then I'll use. Go there now. Let's go to the Big Apple. As you reach the clearing, you simultaneously profound awe and a terrible stench. This is the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how it got here. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal sized horses acting collaboratively? They should have sent a poet. Yeah, they should have. This is a pretty big apple. Clean it up. We're gonna just clean it up. We're just gonna do our due diligence. We did it, guys. It's all clean. That laughter was just like straight out of Courage the Cowardly Dog. Fight him. Hey there. Mr. Cowardly Moxie. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Dead. Shoot. Pistol shot. Dead. Alright. Fundamentals of next max. Gives you a ray skeletal buddy trick. Alright, well let's read that book of fundamentals of next max. Yes. You better not be doing what I think it what it looks like you're doing. Oh accent, Alex. I can handle it. Fight fire with fire. If I ever think for a second you're turning into uh Necro another necromancer, I'll be fighting with lead. It's cool, don't worry. Alright. Yes. Read it, I said. Very skeletal buddy. You can bring scorsel, skeleton bones, and use them to bring uh, examines skeleton bones in your inventory to enchant them. Okay. White hair. Minus three moxie. Lame. Scorsel it. Scorsel bones. We're just gonna inscorsel all of these, I guess. Whatever. Lose a little bit of moxie for the sweet ability to pop this guy. Ah, I see what's happening. Oh, now he's all better. Show him the helmet. 
Does this belong to you? He takes the helmet from you. It does, a long time ago. I don't suppose there was anything else where you found that. You mean this? Yeah, could I could I give it to him? Like to hear a story? Sure. I was very to see you uh, about Miss Long Forgotten Desert where miniature automatons ruled over maniacal monkeys. Something about that story really got you lost in it. Thanks, Albert. If you ever get in, express your gratitude in a more tangible way, you know the trick. Goes back to listening to the thing. All right. Hey, Wood. Fix your piano player for you. Thought so. He sounds much better. Thanks a heap, Wampa. I'd offer you a free room in exchange, but you've already got one. <laughs> no worries, Lloyd. See you later, Lloyd. You know what? Let's let's try another run at those uh, mean old saints. Uh, Hornswoggling. Steals gold tooth right out of his mouth. Can't remember if I've done that one already. I'm a little drunk right now. I'm actually getting kind of sober. But, uh. Take the gold tooth out of this man's mouth. Um, no, no. Listen closely. Gibberish. Creepy gibberish. Put this old skull back. Get a part. Creepy whispering stone. Alrighty then. Oh, hey there. Skeleton with two extra skulls. He has technically three skulls in all. Dead. Skeleton bones. Alice has become stronger. Open it with a crowbar. Wake him up. Hey there, big boy. Shoot. Saint Beefus. The Mighty. Ow. Fifteen to sixteen damage only has ten left. Bye, buddy. Sixty-six XP. Saint Beefus's thigh. Saint Beefus's finger. Alice surveys the scene and jots down some notes in her notebook. Her eyes light up. Evidently, she's had an epiphany of some sort. Alice has become stronger. Good. Alice has been kind of weak. Old cavalry saber. Let's give with Beefus his thigh. Yeah, Beefus's thigh is way better than anything I have. Leave it alone for now. Let's see, is there anything I have that uh gives us uh no I want alcohol. No. 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 Yes. Tequila. It makes you mystic. It's gonna make you. Oh. Uh oh. Let's go with shoot his thing right here. And then, uh, oh, uh, so we need to do this, hacksaw this man's skull, wow, oh, that was unexpected. That's someone a skeleton. She's probably not gonna like this, but that's okay. Shoot. Yeah, attack. Hacksaw this fool. Man, she has gotten a lot stronger. She's able to actually do one hit kills. Let's see her shoot this. And that goes down. And then she's gonna take this out. Uh, 
Nope, my skeleton buddy's gone down. Let's shoot this. Let's kill this. Hit by lightning. That's a shocking development. Alright, and we take this one down. Thank you to continue. Got the skull back, and I also got his ring. Ups mystically and speed. What's my current ring do? Nope. What's my current ring do? One 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 one. I don't think that's gonna help honestly right now. Read the plaque. Uh, he got dismembered. Let's read about Saint Beefus. After he died, his body kept trying to rise to heaven, but it was so heavy it kind of flopped around a bunch. We had to give him a giant sarcophagus to stop him. And then, oh, Pope. Insult him. St. Pope stands behind the dais. Uh, he just keeps doing Pope gestures. I insulted him. He uh, Make a sailor blush and a sailor's mother ashamed of a sailor. His Eyes narrow, and he's gonna fight. Let's go, boy. Oh, hey. What's up? Let's just, uh, Alice destroys skeleton. That's you. You're a skeleton. Dead. Pope's pelvis? Pope's hat. You know I've gotta do it, right? You gotta just try it on. Oh, yeah. Feels so good. Yeah, I feel so powerful. Okay. Okay. I am Pope. Seriously, he is a fibber. Um, Saint Pope, excuse me for impersonating Pope, but there was some kind of uh, bureaucratic issue, so we can't unbeatify him. Well, that's normal. Um. Uh, impersonating a pope is actually like a really easy way to get into power as pope. Let's see here. Inventory. Let's put these back real quick. And. <clears throat> return the skull. Return the finger. Return the pelvis. Uh, silk Nun's boots. Is that it? Dang it. I was hoping for more. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, guys. That's enough for this episode. Remember, guys. Stay safe. Don't get locked up in a dungeon. Um, and have fun. One of those things is more important than the others. Bye.